Greetings everyone. I am Sushrut Tappaji Gowda, cataract surgeon at Vijaya Netralaya and Kempegowda Institute of Medical Sciences, Bangalore, India. In this 3 minute video, I am presenting a meticulously done surgery and an avoidable complication known to occur with new surgical assistants. This video should serve as an example to educate everybody involved in cataract surgery, especially the new surgical assistants. On this particular day, I had about 11 cases posted back to back. I'm a very slow surgeon, and in that, I take a lot of time to ensure perfect surgery. My assistants usually stay by my side from beginning to the end. And on this day, after completing about eight cases, my assistant had become slow in response. He was probably exhausted, and he later complained of upset stomach. a need for unscrub i was exhausted too i still had about 5 more cases to complete with most reserve staff on leave on that particular day the only option i had was to accept offer from a newly appointed scrub assistant who claimed the experience and expertise of working with reputed names in the industry i was happy at least i had someone to help me he mostly took a lot of time to identify instruments which i cannot show in this video but i was happy that i had someone and everything went on very well until this you can see this is a very nicely done surgery very nicely polished bag with almost all cells removed from the anterior lens capsule then i began inserting the lens that was loaded by my new assistant this video explains why all our ot assistants should be meticulously trained in iol loading before they scrub as iol loading is the most common mistake done by new surgical assistant in fact all new assistants should be shown video videos of complications like these followed by demo lens loading and training before they get to assist you in surgery you can see the leading haptic is out in the bag and then comes the optic but there's something wrong in the way it's behaving one third of the optic and the trialing haptic is completely missing it's stuck in the cartridge and it got torn due to improper loading so from now onwards if i have to face a similar situation i'll load the lens myself rather than trusting the unknown this will save more time compared to the time needed to solve complications like these thank you for watching